Hey guys, welcome back to the MyGo YouTube channel. So today the question is, how dark is dark for cannabis? As we know, cannabis is a short day flowering plant and that means that it needs a reduced amount of light as in a 12 hour darkness and 12 hour light schedule in order to uh, promote flowering. If you have um, any little light leak or pollution at nighttime, it may interrupt that process, it may even reverse the flowering and going back to vegging it may reduce quantity and amount of flowers that you get, or it may cause hermying, so the plant to uh, hermaphrodite and end up um, generating seeds, which obviously you don't want. So how do we know what is uh, darkness and where does that level of sensitivity lie with cannabis? And then how do we determine um, if the light level is too much? So we're gonna go into some detail. If you haven't already, please subscribe. Um, to the channel, you get lots of updates on growing tech news, reviews, etc. And also, please click the link below for our blog. Um, got a really extensive blog about all things grow lighting, including this article um, or this topic. We've got an article on this too, so please check it out. So, scientists have tested cannabis to see when that um, night cycle is interrupted and they discovered that it's at a, at a very low light intensity, uh, cannabis being very sensitive to light. Just to put that in, this in perspective, I'm gonna talk in terms of PAR now. PAR being photosynthetically active radiation. It's the light that plants see. And in terms of PAR units, out day sun is about 2000 micromoles. Um, just behind me here, you've got a grow light setup, a typical 500 watt light in a four x four would deliver about 800 micromoles. Um, but cannabis sensitivity is at around 0 0.01 micromoles. And uh, that's about 90,000 times less than what's in your grow tent. So it's really, really sensitive. And normal parameters, which you know, measure down to maybe one micromole, just won't measure one hundredth of a micromole. You have to have a specialist sensor, which costs a lot of money. So, how do we determine uh, if it is um, if the if the light, whatever light's getting in, maybe a light leak or a little indicator light or something like that, um, is it going to cause problems with the plants? Well, a good rule of thumb: get inside the tent, close up the zip, and get out a book and try to read that book in that light. Now, if you cannot read um, print it's likely that the light level is too low for plants to detect and to disturb that light cycle. As you can see in this chart, it takes 0 0.01 micromoles to disturb cannabis plants, but you can read in as low level of light as 0 0.04 or 40% of that um, light intensity that will disturb cannabis plants. So if it's, um, if it's that dark that you can't read, you definitely know that it is too dark for the plants to, um, to detect it. Another one might be if you have an indicator light uh, inside your grow and you're wondering whether it'll affect it. Well, it does have a pretty high risk of doing so. And I did a little calculation on this. So your typical um, red LED indicator is about 0 0.015 watts. Um, and if you put that within uh, 12 inches or 30 centimeters of a cannabis plant, you are likely to get about 0 0.01 micromoles, which is about the light um, intensity that cannabis plants can detect. So in short, if you've got any indicator lights in there, um, you know, take them up or whatever. So hope this helps. If you're having problems, this will help you sort of analyze it and determine whether um, light leaks or light pollution is affecting your grow. And um, as always, looking forward to hear your comments and questions below. So please, uh, please get involved. And as I said, don't forget to subscribe and uh, click on the link below to our blog. Take care.